Ahoy, you bloodthirsty pirates! It's the Cursed Captain, and the time has come for me to talk about the PvP in this game. Over the last few months, I've noticed some changes that I believe have hurt the overall fighting in the seas, and I have some ideas that I think would help bring back some of that competitive feeling and even expand the player versus player combat a little bit. Here is what I'm thinking. First things first, I want to give some credit to Rare in the area of ship combat. When the game first launched, there was not a lot of variety in how to fight ship to ship. Since launch, they have introduced cursed cannonballs, different size holes your ship can get, ship mass, capstan, and helm damage, and now with the introduction of fire, it has given us a whole new element of attack. Seriously, incredible job with the ship to ship combat. Each improvement genuinely has improved the seas and made the combat even more enjoyable and intense. However, that is not what I am focusing on in this video. I want to talk about player versus player combat. So let's do this. Here are some of the things I would like to see. I couldn't think of a better place to start than with the Cutlass. It is by far one of the most piratey weapons we can possibly get our hands on, and should be one of the standard weapons of choice for every pirate. Currently the sword is just a massive hack and slash, bunny hopping, macro spamming mess. I want to see true swordsmanship and depth added to this weapon, and here's what I'm thinking. Introduce new sword stanzas with the Cutlass. Now this idea is inspired by one of my all time favorite sword fighting games, well, not really swords as much as lightsabers. One of the best sword fighting games I have ever played takes me all the way back to a game called Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. Now here is what I'm thinking, we add a light, medium and heavy stands allowing for a variety of combos and attacks to be added to the game depending on what stands you are in. The heavy swings could take a little longer to swing your sword but result in more damage and maybe if you connected with a heavy swing it would break a block too. The light stands would allow for faster jabs but maybe not as much damage. In this stands I could see a faster lunge attack that does half the damage of the current lunge but still results in a knockback and the medium stands would basically be where we are currently. Each stands could have something unique about it that would help pirates fight in different ways, and mastering each stands could add a variety to our hack and slash party and really bring an element of mastery to the sword. Last thought here on the stands is, each stands could have different combo options and different results when that combos are used. The light stands could have a 4 hit combo that is just 4 really fast quick jabs. The heavy stands could have a 2 hit combo resulting in major damage and possibly even the ability to break that block like I mentioned earlier. What do you guys think? In addition to the sword stanzas, something I would love to see is the introduction of a parry. I would love to see the ability added to the game that if timed correctly you could parry the attack of an enemy's blade. And if you're attacking and the pirate you're attacking parries your attack, well, you could parry that attack back, resulting in both pirates getting knocked back. Seriously, how are we almost two years into this game and we've not expanded the weapons available to us? Here are a few weapons that I think would be an awesome addition to the game. The boarding axe. This just needs to happen already. Give us a weapon that we can use to board ships, pull boards off fixed holes, and generally look like a viking when we're fighting other pirates. This weapon would only have heavy swings. It would be pretty awesome to be able to throw this axe as well, but if you missed, you would only be down to one weapon until you retrieve the thrown axe. Daggers. Now I would love to see daggers come to play in this game. These would absolutely need to be throwable, but maybe if you snuck up on a ship could result in a one hit kill if you snuck up behind a pirate, who knows, there's some potential with one of these for sure. Dual swords, how long do we need to go before we see dual swords added to this game? It could take up both slots removing your ability to have another weapon, but could result in some better sword combat. Maybe limit the dual swords to light and medium stanzas only, making the single sword valuable to the heavy swings, I'm not quite sure, but dual swords would be pretty awesome to see in the seas for sure. Muskets. I'm not talking about the eye of reach here, I'm talking about a musket with no scope on top. I've seen people in the past ask for this, but having a musket in the game without a scope would be pretty awesome and I would definitely love to see something like this. 
What weapons would you like to see added to the game? Make sure to let me know, mates, in the comments below. There is so much potential for this game, and I would love to see PvP combat get a little more depth to it. Still making it easy for the Swabbies to understand, but giving us the ability to master some weapons a little bit more and make player versus player combat more interesting than where it is today. What do you guys think? What ways do you think we could expand player versus player combat in the seas? Make sure to comment below. I always love reading what you guys have and if you like this video hit that like button and if you love it want to support me make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video